This is my duck and this is what I'm going to be racing in on May 15th in NOC's duck and run competition. And it's probably the most critical part of the entire race, this, this section of my training. And in the professional ducking circuit, we, we, we refer to this as mounting your duck. And I've come up with a few different techniques and, and I'm going to gladly show you guys three of the techniques which which are going to be pretty critical for, for shaving time off, off your race. So with the three different duck mounting uh, options that I'm going to show you guys today, one is the uh, Superman, and there's pros and cons to all of them. Uh, the pros to the, to the Superman is obviously I'm going to be running at full speed, I'm going to be getting forward momentum, and it's going to push, push me out there in front of everybody else. The cons to that is it adds another transition to the entire event. Because all of a sudden I'm out there zipping down the river face first, might lose my paddle, could hit my knee. Sounds good, but we'll see. Second, the, bind, the flying butt flop. The, the flying butt flop gives me good forward momentum. Uh, the pros to it, I land in a seated position so I can instantly grab my paddle and start going with it. The cons to it, you know, what if I miss? What if I land lopsided, flip my duck? Adds another transition to the whole event. Third is the conservative. And that's where I run down there, but in a conservative fashion, I get into the duck. Pros. Good control. I know I'm not going to flop out of the boat. You know, I like it. Cons, it's kind of slow. But, you know, I'm doing a double knot tie on my running shoe. It's a little conservative, but I think it's going to pay off dividends in the end. 